Alright, what's up guys? Uh, going back to Jurassic World. I made a video showing off my version of Jurassic World, but I haven't uploaded it yet. But we just got uh, sand added to sandbox tools today. So I'm going to improve my Jurassic World a little bit, add the sand, and I think I'm going to put the uh, Gallimimus Jurassic Tour into the park as well, which I haven't done yet. guys so if you didn't see the, I, like I said I didn't upload the last video but this is my Jurassic World we have the main strip right here the Innovation Center um, we have the Rex Kingdom over here with our Rex in it uh, you know the ACU Center back here you know they'd look off and see the park from up here on the hill <coughs> uh, this is the Javasphere Plains that I put in, in here into the park. Uh, it's got trikes in it, paras, apatosaurus. And it's pretty big. Uh, to, I think what I'm going to do is kind of cut part of it off to make the Jurassic World uh, tour truck ride and just put a uh, Gallimimus in here. And down here. Uh, going into the Packy Arena area and over here is where I have uh, kind of like the Lazy River Canoe Ride well we don't have that but the best I could do we have Ankies in here, Stegs and Brachiosaurus in here and the Josh Free Track runs around here and of course I'm going to get a storm while I'm trying to put this together <coughs> so I have all this stuff this is the hotel resort area I'm going to be adding sand to the beach area. I might need to make it a little bit bigger to make it look a little bit better. And of course, the, this is the Mosasaurus Lagoon. Uh, this is the area in the Paddock 9. And then over here is the Petting Zoo area where I have uh, some Hadrosaurs, Guanodon, uh, the Struthies, Galleys. And then I have uh, Carnotaurus and Dilophosaurus over here in this paddock. It's hard to see them in a the storm. And I think I have Troodon and Allosaurus over here. And of course the monorail track that goes around the whole park. We have our power. And then the uh, kind of restricted access area. We have the Raptor paddock. We have Blue, Echo, Charlie, Delta. We have all, all of them in here. As you can see. I need to go back and make a different blue. And as you can see, Echo is an alpha. And it should be blue. So I think I need to go back and make a new blue. And uh, push her stats way up so that she remains an alpha. And then this is where the Indominus Rex is. Back here in the back. So okay, so this is my Jurassic World. Which I think is pretty good. And like I said, now we should have the sandbox tools. The sand added to the sandbox tools. Oops. Oh, that's right. And there it is, folks. We got sand. It's amazing. get it all the way a little bit closer to take all the green out. I'll probably have to delete the road to get that to happen. Well, that's cool. You can kind of put the sand into the water a little bit. That's kind of cool. A little sandbar area maybe for the beach guests. Like 
so I might need to make it bigger. But it does help a little bit. It does look a little bit better so far. Pretty good. The only challenge is getting this to looking decent how I had it looking without taking away all of the sand beachfront. And I feel like adding some palm trees would improve the look of things. from blue for a second. I don't want to put too much sand around the hotels because I want the beach to 
be a little bit more significant but we can kind of sand it up a little bit like hey yeah you know you know we're you're kind of close to the beach area sand is just kind of poking through you know, wanting to come down to the beach just to entice the guests the guests come out of the hotel and they get they get enticed and I need to switch just a day so I can see what color the pass I had were Yeah, that looks pretty nice in the day. It looks pretty good. It would be nice if we could add just... If they added benches one day, if they could add beach chairs. I think I mentioned it in the video I didn't upload yet of my Jurassic World when I was talking about how they need to add the sand to sandbox. If they could put, like, beach chairs out here or something, or beach towels, and guests would actually walk through there and just lay down and sit down and just look around every once in a while, that would really help amplify the effect of the beach and if we had like other little stands like say we had what if we had like a hot dog stand we could put a hot dog stand right here and people would be walking around and then they could go and they could sit on the beach or lay on the beach and then you'd have like a couple hot dog stands or ice cream stand like really small little things like little carts that you could put around the path so they could be you know going in there sitting around at the beach coming back going to get a hot dog going to get some ice cream that would really look pretty cool I think if we could ever get something like that added into the game. We need to get rid of these bushes. No bushes. No bushes on the beach. I think that looks pretty nice. Like I said, if we could get like a color brush for the water too, because the water is like all this kind of the standard, kind of a dark, really dark bluish green, black almost. If we could get a color brush for the water and just make this like that super bright, like Caribbean looking ocean blue around the beach and maybe put a little bit in here around the fence and then even just lighten up the lagoon part and you know, like shades of the, of the super bright Caribbean blue but a little bit darker, like really light over here for the beach part. And still a bright, vibrant blue that looked really pretty, but was a little bit darker uh, than the beach area. That would be really cool looking. That would really help the look of everything, I think. That would be really cool. Uh, I might go back and add stuff later, but right now I think that looks that looks pretty decent. Maybe, maybe add some more sand around the hotels, but right now I think that looks pretty cool. Get across here, you see the beach, see the sand, see the palm trees. That looks pretty nice. And what size fence is this? This is not electric steel, heavy steel. Hmm. I wonder if it'll let me put this here before I delete. Yeah, I can't even do it yet until I delete the gyro track. Ah! It's gonna be a headache. I have to redo the whole gyro track. Okay. Demolish load.
It'll actually be a better ride anyway, because I really just really did the outskirts because this was so big. But now that I got, I'm gonna have to bring it in. I can actually have the gyro just go straight through the planes, right through all the animals. So it'll actually make a better gyro. Yeah, gyro ride actually. Nothing escapes now, so I think I have it close enough out of the buildable area that they don't escape. Plus the herbivores, they stick to the feeders anyway. So I don't think I have to put another fence over there. We'll have to put a gate in though. Which kind of sucks. They're all not even in there. I don't even have to move any. So that worked out pretty well. There's still a space for them. Or oh, I turned the control I turned the environmental things off. So I don't know how happy they'll be when I turn them back on. Ah. This is going to be the hard part, is trying to figure out where I'm going to fit the... I guess I can put it in right there, that'll probably work. Maybe, it might not be big enough. Probably won't be big enough. Ah, just go straight. I don't think it's going to be big enough. With where I have, uh... Where I have the transport monorail, I don't think it's gonna gonna fit. There's like no space. There's no space at all right there. That'd be a good place for it, but there's no space. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to shrink the planes even more to get this to work. Which kinda sucks. But I think that's what I'm gonna have to do.
I like the curve though, I want to keep the curve, so I'm not going to delete that. Well, I don't even know if I want it there. I don't think I want it there. Put another one over here. Because I want to, I want to cut the paddocks off so you can't really see too much. I don't want them to see too much of each other. Seems like a good tree to fit in here, like it should be in here somewhere. Maybe if I move the water, I like the tree right there. That looks pretty cool. Where's the water going to be?
need to add some bushes. I would have to say the Vibrant is probably my favorite of the different bush tools. I just like the the yellow flowers. Uh, plant, whatever it's called. I think that looks pretty cool. Of course it does. Of course there's another storm. Yeah, it's a little it's a little cluttered looking, but it's not too bad. Storm warning level has been raised. But now I should have enough space to actually make a tour over here. I'm not in water. What's he talking about? In water? I'm not in water. Give him space to eat, I would say. You gotta give him a little bit of space so they can eat. Don't wanna overcrowd the feeder too much. I hate this thing needs like a, a straight tool. Like the fences do. It all it ever does is curve. Same with the gyro routes. They're always curved. Unless you get it like just right ahead of time. Ah. Deleted a tree or something. Oop. Let's put something else over there. Maybe we'll just put a palm tree over here. I think that'll look pretty nice. And we gotta edit this track once again. Maybe you'll get a little bit of a better view. Little dinosaurs on the plains. Oh, that look pretty good. All my attractions are concrete paths, so I'm gonna need a concrete path. not a lot of space to work with. And it's angled so weird. It's probably just not going to look good no matter what I do. Out of place, though. 
And I'd like to have added a fence, like for the gyro rides everywhere into the Rex Kingdom. But I think it's too close. I think it's too close. I'll have to do for now. I can always come back and change it later. But right now, that I think that's pretty good. What's broke? On route. The river ride's broke. That's not good. Repair request acknowledged. Is that it? I think that's it. And now I'm gonna have to track the uh, Indominus in order to make some Gallimimus. Oh, there he is. I think that's the good one. I think that's the one that I think looks the most like uh, the Jurassic Park movie. Could be wrong. I think that's. The I think that's the one that's like the reddest orange brown color that kind of looks the most like Jurassic Park. The classic Gallimimus look. That's what we're going to go for. Setting yeah. additional task. Have to put her to sleep. cages and I kind of I tried to make it look most like a testing area where they're trying to train them so this fence here is supposed to be like the catwalk you know you can have a gate you can separate them if you're doing different things different experiments on them you know that's why this one is a goat feeder this one is a regular feeder so in theory if you wanted to just let one in there and cut them off and then turn the goat feeder on and see how he attacked it or something that's how it's supposed to work This is now. This is gonna have pretty much everything that Jurassic World had. This is the petting zoo area. Um, we have the the lagoon. We have the beach now. We have the Packy Arena. We have the planes. We have the river ride. We have the raptors and the Indominus Rex. Uh, we know Carnotaurus uh, was there because it shows up in the Fallen Kingdom. Allosaurus is never seen, but how can you not have an Allosaurus? Neither is a Troodon. They're in there. I could modify them because we know from Fallen Kingdom, uh, what was the dinosaur that attacked them? Uh, when the volcano started to blow, I think it was a Suchomimus. I don't have a Suchomimus. I think it was a Suchomimus. It could have been a Baryonyx. I'm not quite sure. But everything else from the movie you pretty much have, except for maybe a Sinoceratops. And I can maybe put them into the planes. Because uh, I think that is what shows up in Fallen Kingdom as well. That's what I think it's the most like Jurassic Park. It's darker, but just the stripes and everything. It looks pretty good. Let's hurry up and get out of there. Could add some more. task acknowledged confirming task <laughs> I 
I have no fear of the Indominus Rex. No respect. No respect at all. They've never seen an Indominus Rex either. They're like, what is this goofy looking thing laying on the ground? Look at this chump. Look at this chump. This weird white albino freak. That's what they're talking about right now. How ugly the Indominus Rex is. So I can get them all populated. We'll take the Jurassic Tour and see what that looks like. Ah, uh, Ranger team ain't working very fast. No problem. to collect the asset. And I wonder if the new update fixed... Um asset transportation in progress. Heading to pick up the asset. The transport thing? Because I know after the, the clear DLC, whenever you would try to look at something, see, it's still kind of... See how it says... GLL and Indominus Rex, even though you, it's just like whatever you last transported, it's still on there. It says the Gallimimus, but it still says it on the bottom over here, Gallimimus, whatever. Asset collection request received. Transportation. 
Got a few in here. Just coming along. Get it when you're on the monorail station. You'll see the planes. You go around here. You'll be able to see the Jurassic Tour going on. Got a minus. I'd say it's a pretty good recreation. It's maybe probably one of the best parks I've ever built. And as far as comparing it to other people's, I think it's I think it's pretty good. I gotta give Game of Beaver a lot of credit because I watch this video a lot, trying to get the basis down of how this main strip should look like and everything. But I'd say geographically, it's you know you would think that. The secured area would be back over there somewhere, but geographically it kind of works because when the Indominus breaks out, um, the first place they encounter it is at the river, so it would be like the river ride thing. You know, the first place they encounter is the river, and he kills the uh, she kills the ACU team coming to get her, and then you know she ends up fighting Ankylosaurus. You know, so down around this area, where I have them in the river ride area. And that's when the, the kids encounter them off, off the plains. They kind of go through Broken Gate, maybe in the packing area. Maybe they get through and come down into the canoe area or whatever. And that's kind of where the Indominus would kind of go. If it broke out from here, it might go straight up there. Go around the river, then end up, you know, killing Ankylosaurus. And then it makes its way into the plains and starts killing all the uh, hepatosaurs, all the all the sauropods, it's everything in its path. So geographically it does kind of work. Adding to the list. Confirmed. Task received. Collecting asset. Confirming asset delivery. Asset requiring collection. Asset has been collected. En route to pick up the asset. Commencing asset transit. Picking up asset. Assets in the air. En route to collect the asset. Asset transportation underway. Acknowledging asset collection request.
seem to be fascinated with the truck tour area right now. But they should move out to the feeders. Hopefully run around. Run around. Delivery complete. Enjoy this tree. Another thing I think they should add is like being able to switch views. We can switch views in the Jurassic Tour truck, which is nice. But all these other things you should be able to switch to, like middle view, you should be able to switch over to that side, switch over to this side. Same with the viewers as well. You should be able to switch. Like if you're on the top or the bottom. You should be able to switch like to the on the top, you know, over to the left. You should be able to switch the viewer viewer view. Commencing asset transit. It's pretty good. Nice little ocean front beach front view. Asset being transported. Really nice view. Dominus back up. Picking up asset. Starting to get a little hungry, I think. Thing that they could add into this game. Asset delivery confirmed. You know, having to pick them up for the transport and then put them back delivery down to wake them up. Completed. I mean, it makes sense for transporting them. But if you're just knocking them out and then just wanting to wake them up, there should be some kind of a an option with the, either the chopper or the rangers. They could just drive up and shoot the, the tranked animal with a gun to wake them up. Or giving them a time limit on when on how long they stay knocked out instead of being knocked out indefinitely. That'd just be something else cool to add to the park and if you were doing what I just did, making all these Gallimimus and you have the Indominus tranked, if after like four or five minutes uh, she woke up on her own after being tranked and she started killing all your Gallimimus before you could get them out of there and you have to go run down and, and trank her again. That would be pretty cool. And then they could add some kind of thing in, some kind of mechanic to, to give a rampage. Like uh, the Rex in the Lost World, they tranked it, they gave it so much that it was about to stop breathing, so they had to, you know, pump it full of adrenaline or whatever to try to bring it back and wake it up, and then when it woke up, it was just on a rampage and busted through everything, tore through the city. There's little dynamics like that they could add into the game to make it a little bit better. Like if you tranked it, maybe you gave it extra uh, strong dose. Like if there was a timer showing how long it was going to stay tranked, then you went and tranked it again. If you did that two or three times, then maybe you would have to have to dart it to wake it up two or three times so it just wants to wake it up and whenever it woke up it would just be pissed and go on a rampage and bust through the walls and just start ripping things apart that would be kind of cool that would be pretty cool in my opinion alright so let's see uh, what this tour looks like
probably coming to the end, of course. Trees look really nice. That looks really nice. Welcome to the Jurassic Tour. The track Travel right there. back in time with us and witness the awesome land of the dinosaurs. can encounter difficult terrain, and you must keep your seat belt fastened until the ride is complete. We're moving, whenever the top of the truck gets over there, they're going to be gone. Starting off, man, to get a better view. I keep getting stuck with these trucks halfway through. Gallimimus is an ostrich like dinosaur regarded for its cheetah like speed. Its name means chicken mimic. There we go, now we're getting to see him. Investigate the truck. Gallimimus was first discovered in China and lived during the Cretaceous period. They are one of the largest known ornithomimus. Say that was a successful tour. For your safety, keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. Some people complain about dinosaurs getting in the way and it stops the truck, but I think that makes the tour better. Whenever the truck has to stop because they're that close and they're in the way of things, I think that, that just makes it all that much better. All species of dinosaur have different requirements for care. We put their needs first and develop bespoke approaches for each species. Pretty nice. Look, like they do go both ways now. The, uh, the monorail stations. That was part of the other, the Claire update. Was that the, uh, the monorail tracks will go in both different directions. Which is cool. I like to be able to see... See what the monorail track looks like what their view looks like. If you can get that kind of movie view of the truck uh, going down through the plains or whatever and the gallon is near them. 
probably wouldn't get it because it's not big enough. And this is this is pretty treated in. But maybe on this side you could. But yeah, so thank you guys for putting Of course the wrong one. Thank you guys for putting sand in here, that does help. See I hate you can't select them, like you select the trucks and show that particular view. You just get whatever you get. Pretty much. It's a good look at the beach though. That's another thing too, you should be able to cycle through the different the different station views. If there's multiple uh, trains running, you should be able to cycle through whatever view you want to do. There's a couple little small improvements they can make to it. But overall, this is a pretty good looking Jurassic World in my opinion. Pretty good. Another one again. If I hit view, it probably won't bring me over there to that. Nope. Something. Something from the movie. Ladies and gentlemen, in response to the adverse weather, please take cover until the conditions are passed. Again. Always a storm. Anytime I want to show anything, it's always a storm. I never noticed this. I don't see any monorail tracks running during the storm, so I wonder if if they all just stop whenever a storm does does start. So there we go. There's the Ladies truck down below. The weather conditions. Galavimus down there. You're coming from the other direction, which is the direction they used to go. You would get a, maybe a little bit better view. Still, that looks pretty good.
guys. I think that's where we're going to end things. Got to see the park. Got to see me uh, make the beach and put the Jurassic Tour in there. Pretty good Jurassic World in my opinion. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And enjoy the new sand tool, guys. I did.